it's likely that this autumn we'll see a large area of wheat grown in the second cereal position. Admittedly, not much of this will be after another autumn cereal crop, probably following a spring barley or a spring wheat. But the same principles apply. The second cereal can often be a challenging part of the rotation, and to get the most out of these crops, we need to pay close attention to both seed treatment and variety choice. The most severe threat to second wheat is from the build-up of take-all fungus in the soil. This can be a debilitating disease, and don't be fooled into thinking it only applies when you're following an autumn cereal crop. Spring barley and spring wheat can both play host to the fungus and carry it over into our 2020 drilled crops. The warm, damp autumn conditions that we've experienced may also have increased the levels of take-all in our soils, so we really should be thinking about the potential impact of take-all in any second wheats drilled this autumn. To counteract take-all, we have the protectant seed treatment latitude. This is a sensible precaution to take for our second cereal crops and will guard against the potential yield losses that we can see from take-all infection. In addition to using latitude, we've seen good results from growth promoting seed treatments when applied to a second cereal. They help with rooting and early vigour in these crops that are often compromised for nutrients. Indeed, we've seen particularly strong results when latitude and vibrance geo are applied together, adding an extra 500 kilos per hectare in yield versus latitude on its own. Variety choice is also key. We've picked out some varieties that perform particularly well in a second cereal position, and we'll explain what features to look for for this slot. The first varieties we'll look at are the quality wheats, KWS Zayat and Skyfall. We often see group one wheats grown in a second cereal position because the lower yield helps to keep protein contents up. Both of these varieties are particularly well suited as a second cereal and one of the standout features for them is their genetic resistance to eye spot eye spot can be a real pest in our second cereals and not many varieties carry the PCH1 gene for genetic resistance. In addition to the PCH1 gene, we've seen Zayat in particular as a very strong second wheat choice in recent years, even when grown for a feed market. Ixtase and Siskin are the next two varieties that we recommend for this second cereal position because they both carry two other important features that we look for in a second wheat. Good vigour, and really good disease resistance. Soil-borne and fungal diseases can often be at higher levels due to build-up in the soil following a preceding cereal crop. So having a variety with good genetic resistance to disease helps us in our second cereal choice. Good vigour is another thing that we look for in a second wheat variety, and that's something that both Ixtays and Siskin have in spades. Second wheats are often drilled later or into more challenging situations, and so knowing that these crops are going to spring out of the ground and cope well with that later autumn situation will give us peace of mind as we go through into the spring. Good vigour in a variety can also help to put down early rooting and to outcompete any troublesome grass weeds, which are sometimes difficult to keep on top of with herbicides in a close cereal rotation. Ixtays and Siskin fit that mould, as does a variety like RGT Gravity. The final variety to talk about for our second cereal position is farm favourite Gleam. Gleam doesn't stand out in any of the features that we've talked about so far. Its eye spot resistance is middling. Its vigour and disease are good but not outstanding. Nonetheless, in trial we have consistently seen Gleam do well in a second cereal position. To summarise then, when considering your second cereal position for this year, make sure you're choosing a variety with a proven track record in that slot and think closely about what we can be doing with seed treatments to give our crops the best possible chance.